Hey guys, welcome back to Kenny Beauty. So today I am so excited to share with you the holiday collection from one of my favorite brands, Julia's Place. Yes. You guys know, if you're familiar with my channel, then you know I am like hardcore Julia's Place for many, many years now. I love, absolutely love everything they come out with. I haven't reviewed one of their collections or panels in a little bit, however, just because I tend to gravitate towards their more colorful collections. And in the beginning of the year, they kind of did sort, sort of more nude stuff, which I'm sure was beautiful, but I just decided to take a pass. So anyway, when I saw that they were releasing a holiday collection, I was like, oh my goodness, because I literally was just saying to my friend the other day, like, what's going on with Judy, Juvia's Place? They haven't released anything in a few months. I knew they were focused on their skincare line, but I am so excited that they are coming out with this holiday collection. The I Live, I Love, oh. Also, when I saw the palettes, I was just like, yes. And then the brushes. You guys, I got the brushes. I don't know how. I don't know how, because they've been sold out for days, but somehow, a miracle shed some light on me and I got those brushes. Hair is fraggleness as crazy, but what's new? Anyway, so I'm super excited. We're gonna take a look at the collection, test out the brushes, and what is on my face today. I have the Nomad Cosmetics Iceland Fire and Ice Palette. I also have the Terra Moons um, Fall Equinox Shade The Cosmos. And then I have my Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Foundation. Loving that. You guys know that already, though, probably. Um, I do have that along with my Dior No Powder Powder on my face. I'm wearing my Laneige Cushion Cover Concealer. And I have my MAC Giga Black Mascara, which is sort of like running down my face right now. I have my Benefit Pore Less. Poor Professional Super Setter Primer and my Veal Soft Focus Setting Spray. I have the Lisa Eldridge Glass Embrace in Charm. And my Huda Beauty Glowish Bronzer on the face today. So, anyways, I'm super excited. I cannot wait to get into this collection with you guys. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, tap the bell, so you can be notified of all of the new upcoming videos, makeup releases. Just overall goodness, makeup goodness. Make sure you tap that bell, subscribe, because YouTube's been doing some funny things lately. So anyways, let's get right into the details on this collection. And one more thing before we get started. So I am doing a giveaway. I am going to be giving away the I Love, I Live, I Love Icy Palette, the blue gorgeous palette. So in order for you to enter the giveaway, you obviously have to watch this video to the end to get some clues and like this video and then also bring over a friend who also enjoys watching makeup videos make sure they are publicly subscribed to my channel you are publicly subscribed to my channel and then also your instagram their instagram and again it needs to be somebody that enjoys makeup videos because you know that's what we like to talk about here at kenny beauty's makeup so you a friend publicly subscribe thumbs up from both of you a comment just from you and also in the comment or you can leave a separate comment whatever you would like to do make sure you give the inst your both both of your instagram names and then what is the name of the liquid lipstick shade that i put on at the end of the video and then also which shade is my favorite shade from both of these palettes okay so there are a lot of moving parts on this collection i did get like what stuck out to me the most. I did get most of the items, but they also combined their new items with some of their old products as well. So I kind of just stuck with the newer stuff, which is the I Live I Love Eyeshadow Palette for $15. It says the new I Live I Love Icy Eyeshadow Palette is a gorgeous six pan eyeshadow palette featuring highly pigmented eyeshadows, perfect for day or night looks. Eyeshadow shades include a mix of blue and silver. The I Live I Love Ice eyeshadow palette is part of the I Live I Love collection. And I don't believe, yeah, with Juvia's Place, they don't have shade names, unfortunately. And then there's the I Live I Love eyeshadow palette, again, $15. The new I Live I Love eyeshadow is a gorgeous six pan eyeshadow palette featuring a highly pigmented pressed eyeshadows for day or night looks. 
eyeshadow includes a mix of blue and red shades. So what they're not telling us here is that also both palettes do include one of their glitter formulas as well. There is a glitter in both palettes. Then there's the I Love, I Live I Love Pro Brush Shut, which this is like what I was so excited for. Um, it says our one of a kind limited edition I Live Pro Makeup Brush Set consists of 12 beautifully handcrafted brushes made from the highest quality for longevity and precision. This brush set includes some specialty brushes that you can't find in other collections, such as a brush for hooded eyes. Um, it won't disappoint. It doesn't say, I'm assuming it's synthetic. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, it retails, it's actually out of stock, but I believe they will be restocking it from what I've heard. I believe I bought it for $45. I will link the price down in the description box. Um, it says, I live, I love fluffy powder brush and I live, I love slanted liquid foundation brush, angled bronzing brush, highlighter brush, multi-use blending brush, eyeshadow blending brush, lots of eyeshadow brushes, <laughs> lots of eyeshadow brushes. Um, so there's 12 brushes all together. Like I said, I'm pretty sure these are synthetic brushes just from the price tag and everything. There is an I Live I Love lip kit called Self Love, which is a nude sort of lip kit. There is the I Live I Love lip kit called Lover Girl, which is more of a reds and berries. And then you can buy the palettes with a primer or you can buy the palette with a highlighter. And those both retail for $26. The lip kits retail for $23. Alright, so let's just get started. We're going to do some looks, you guys. It's been a minute. We've got Juvia's Place in the house, so we're going to do maybe two or three looks. So let's just get right into it. Okay, I am super excited to try these brushes out. So first I'm going in with the I Live Love palettes. And I am using the brush number nine, which is the micro brush, I believe. Okay, yes, it's the micro blending brush. Hmm, what are we going to do? I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here, this bright orangey red shade. Okay, and I'm just going to go in. Woo! Oh my gosh, guys, I'm loving this. Wow, this brush is really amazing. Okay, I just want to sort of blend that out. And I did use the Juvia's Place number one primer base, eye primer base as well. I'm trying to get more up close for you guys because I know a lot of you were like, I want to see. And I'm hoping my camera situation is now under control, but fingers crossed, you guys, there's no promises. Okay, so now I'm going in with this sort of bluish teal shade, more on the teal shade, more on the teal side, and I'm just sort of putting that out towards the outer above the crease area. And just sort of flaring that out. I actually do like this brush. It's a little bit more condensed than I thought it was going to be, but I do like it. I like it a lot. I like that it's so tiny. Now I'm just taking this bright blue shade and oh, it's not that bright. It's actually pretty bold. I'm just going over top of those two shades with that blue shade. Questioning this decision right now. Questioning this decision. I guess that looks okay. I'm like, hmm, I was thinking it was a lighter blue, but it's it's not, you guys. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going in with number 11, the flat definer brush. I'm just taking some Juvia's Place primer, and I'm just going to attempt to cut the crease. I don't usually use a brush like this but I do really want to try out these brushes. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Let me just... Whoo! Right? Right, you guys? I mean, I'm so excited. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I'm just going in with my finger first.
And now I'm going in with that same definer brush and I'm just tapping that in. And now I'm just going back in with the micro blending brush. I'm going in with this shade. I'm just gonna put it on the outer corner right there. Sort of just blend it, flare it out a little bit. Okay, so I just finished up with the orange around the eye and then I did the teal right underneath right there. I just put on some lashes, cleaned everything up. So now on to our next look. I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place Primer again. This time I'm going in with the number eight. It's a little bit bigger, the fluffy diffuser blender brush and we are going into the I Live I Love Ice palette this time. And I'm gonna start out with this shade right here. This is definitely a fluffy brush. Ooh, I like this. It definitely gives a sort of diffused. Look for sure. So I'm just sort of patting that shade down in the outer V of the eye and then I'm just sort of diffusing it, blending it up. with that same brush. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this brush. It's the number 10 domed eye brush for hooded eyes. And I'm just going back in with the same shade. And I'm just really getting into the crease fold area. I actually love this blue. It's sort of like a periwinkle blue. I really, really like the color of it. I really do. Yeah, that definitely gave me a little bit more depth, a little bit more dimension using this brush versus the fluffy blending brush. Okay, so now going in with the flat definer brush we used for before, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. Woo. And I'm just gonna go in with my finger. Woo. Look at that color. It actually like really looks almost, I can't even tell the difference between that and the blue shade. Hmm. That is really pretty. All right, I'm gonna go in back with the um, flat, you know, whatever they call this brush. <laughs> I wish they had it on the actual brush handle like a lot of brands do, but that's all right. Okay, so it is a little bit lighter than that other blue. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with this sort of marble swirly shade. I don't think I have, and I'm just going in in the inner corner. I don't think I've seen this formula. It's almost like a super so shock shadow texture. It's a little bit drier, but very similar. I don't know that, although I don't think I have tried any of the more recent Juvia's Place collections, but I think this might be like a new formula for them. I'm just going on the inner corner of the eye with that. And now with this middle shade, I'm just gonna go right underneath the eye. I'm gonna spray some of my Photo Mare, just to give like, it's basically just a hydrating water mist. that I got at the spa that I really like. Okay, sometimes I just want like water versus an actual setting spray, if that makes sense. Cause sometimes with setting sprays, 
well, I'm out of my MAC Fix Plus, that's why too. I have this, but this is more of like a setting spray where it like sets things down. Same thing with the Urban Decay All Nighter, where I really just want like some moisture to sort of be able to blend it out, if that makes sense. Mmm, that is so pretty. Okay, so here are these two looks. Now on to our final look. Okay, so now for our final look, we're going to go back in with the number 9 micro blending brush. And I am going to go into the ice palette. And I'm just pulling this up over the eye. Going in on the outer corner right here, just sort of dabbing it in. Just creating that outline. Okay, now I'm going into the I Live I Love palette and I'm going in with this shade right here. And I'm just, hmm, that is a little bit more of a teal blue, isn't it? I thought it was more of a light blue, but it's not. Going in with that same brush, I'm tapping into this shade from this palette. And I'm just sort of diffusing that blue shade out. Going back in with the domed hooded eye brush and going back in with this shade, this one, and I'm just tapping that in because I just want a little bit more color, a little bit more depth here. Okay, now I'm going into this shimmer shade right here. And I'm just tapping that with my finger first on the lid. Now I'm going to go in with the flat definer. And now I'm going to go in with this shade over top of that. Alright you guys, so now I'm going to clean everything up and I'll be back for the lippy and our final thoughts on this collection. Alright you guys, so this is our final look without the lippies. And now I'm just going to go in with our final touches here. The lip liner in Kona. I don't know if that is a new shade or not. I'll be honest. Um, but I believe the... It is actually, it's kind of dark for me, but... It's a beautiful shade nonetheless. Okay, that's beautiful actually. It glides on very smooth. I think I've, yeah, I've definitely tried the Juvia's Place liners before. I just haven't used them recently. Okay, now I'm going in with a liquid lip. And I'm just using my finger because I don't want to get 
the liner mixed up with the liquid lip and this is in the shade self love which i do believe is a newer shade and just a beautiful shade overall so my final thoughts on this collection are I actually really did enjoy the brushes my favorite brushes the powder I did like the foundation brush it's a little too big though for my face if it was a little bit smaller it would be perfect for me I mean they're just so beautiful too um, the powder brush not bad it's a little dense for powder so something like the Dior no powder powder that's like densely packed it works really well with but for a loose powder, it's a little too dense for my likings. Still a beautiful brush, just my personal preference. However, the angled bronzing brush for the contour, oh my gosh, so, so good. I actually really like that it's a denser brush. They're all pretty dense, except for the eye brushes. The eye brushes do vary in density, but as far as all the face brushes, they are definitely a more condensed dense brush i believe they are synthetic it doesn't say on the website i would assume they are um but i really really like this it just does a really good job of like getting those little curves around the cheeks so in love with this brush another favorite brush that i really enjoyed is this little guy right here the micro blending brush perfect for people who have hooded eyes and same goes for this little dome shape brush these two i believe are my favorite eye brushes i tried all of the brushes except for i think two of the bigger blending brushes and all of the brushes work beautifully these are my two favorite though eye brushes for sure and that's just because i have smaller eyes hooded eyes um as far as this look and the palettes let's get into the palettes the lippy is beautiful i feel like i've seen this shade even though it's supposed to be a new shade called self love i believe i have the shade or something very similar to it already i'm trying to find the palettes okay so let's talk about this baby here first um beautiful beautiful palette i love that there's this bright sort of orangish color um however you know i could have done without this glitter shades in both of the palettes I will say though, when it comes to a glitter, I prefer the Juvia's Place formula because it's very sticky, it's self-adhesing, you don't need a glitter glue, and it applies beautifully. It's it's a beautiful glitter. If you're going to have glitter, that's the way to go. Their formula is the way to go. I probably could have done a brighter shade in here. I would have preferred like maybe one more brighter shade. However, the takeaway in this palette right here is the shade this sort of teal shimmer I don't have many shades like this in my collection um, it almost sort of has like a duochromeness a little bit it's got definitely a shift I wouldn't say it's quite as shifty as a duochrome but a beautiful beautiful shade and overall this palette worked beautifully I had no issues with any formula problems the shimmers worked great the mattes worked great the glitter worked great love it the I Live Love Ice. Oh my goodness, I already hit pan. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the mattes and the glitters, so, so pretty. Both, all three of the shimmers in this palette are beautiful. I do like this new sort of marbleized formula, but I have to say my favorite shade is this one. And then... this baby right here this middle shade that i just hit pan on without even realizing it um so so pretty i actually use that i don't know if you guys can tell is like a little bit of a highlight so so pretty as a little bit of like a highlight over top of the blush and it actually looked really good um i did experience a little bit of formula issue though with this one shade However, I am using a different primer than I usually use, but like 
you have to really sort of melt it in with your finger. Like you really got to go like this for it to apply evenly on the lid. Like I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's creasing just a little bit. But as long as I go in and touch it back up with my finger and sort of melt it on, it's not an issue. But different from typical Juvia's Place shimmers, I mean, I'll take it because I just love that color and it's so beautiful. But there definitely is a little bit of a formula issue just with this one shade. But as far as like highlight, like it, it's really beautiful. It is. I love this palette. If I had to choose, I would definitely choose this palette. I kind of wish this shade was like this formula, this dense sort of wet super shock formula. This one just came across like it's a little bit crumbly. It needs a little bit more smoothness. That being said though, I mean, all of these shades are gorgeous. And I think it's almost sold out. I just got like a text message from Juvia's Place saying, grab this particular palette out of the collection now because it's almost out of stock. I mean, it is, it is just such a beautiful shade. And you do see, again, it's sort of got duochrome qualities. I don't think it's quite a duochrome shade. It doesn't shift completely, but there is like a little bit of iridescent pink sparkle. It looks like white on the pan. And then when you put it over a blue, it's more sort of pinkish, periwinkle, just, just beautiful. I mean, Juvia's Place always does an outstanding job. I will be using the brushes. I really like the brush set. I like that you can give it away as a gift. It's super cute. It looks like a big ornament. You know, I, I really, really am happy with this collection. Now, we'll see because last year they did a big palette after they released their little mini palettes. I think it was like Nubian and Glow and I forget what the other one was. I have a video on all of their holiday collection last year as well. There's two or three videos. Um, but they did release the Wahala, big Wahala palette after. So I will be interested to see if they're going to do the same thing this year and release a big palette as well. Fingers crossed I hope they do because I love Juicy's Place. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. They're so affordable. The quality is so good for what you get. They're innovative. Their collections are always beautiful. I just can't say enough good things about them. I wish I was on the be honest, but I'm not. But like, I just cannot say, just because they're such a good, all the way good brand. Their packaging, their shipping, their customer service, their, their shadows, I never have problems with their shadows. And maybe one or two times I've had an issue if it is a big, and it's never been like a big issue. It's been something that's very easily, you know, fixable. So yeah, besides this one beautiful shade that I love, that I can't get enough of, um, I had no formula issues. That being said though, I did use a different primer today. So I'm going to continue to test this out. Overall though, beautiful job. Well done by Juvia's Place and I just, I am I love this. I love this look, I love this holiday collection. You guys definitely let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are. I know a couple of you guys were talking about in my new makeup videos, releases, videos, so definitely comment down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you always for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.